Hello, my friends. I'm Hannah with the American School for Women. And today is Thursday, March 19th, and it is a little chilly and rainy outside and a little bit gloomy, but I'm hoping that the sun will come out soon. Um, we are going to start a series of videos about asking questions about what's happening in the world right now. So the question we will answer today is, what is COVID-19? COVID-19. Maybe you have been watching the news or reading articles about uh, this sickness that is everywhere <laughs> right now. And sometimes you hear coronavirus, and sometimes you hear COVID-19. Well, what are these words? What, what do they mean? Are they the same? Are they different? What, what is this? So first, um, we're gonna talk about coronavirus, okay? Now you see here I said coronaviruses with the plural, more than one. Okay, so a coronavirus is a respiratory sickness that is, can spread from person to person from what comes out of your eyes, like here, what comes out of your nose, like, okay, and what comes out of your mouth when you breathe or cough or sneeze, okay? Now, this word, respiratory, this is a big word, okay? Respiratory is all about breathing. So what you use when you breathe. I will show you a picture of the respiratory system in our bodies. So you can see here, nose, mouth, throat, also your lungs. So the lungs you think about in your, your back here inside the body, everything for breathing. This is your respiratory system, okay? So this is this word, respiratory. When you hear respiratory, think, breathing. Everything I use in my body to breathe. Okay, so a coronavirus is a respiratory sickness that you can give to another person by touching eyes and touching them, by sneezing. Achoo! Maybe I sneeze on my coffee. Achoo! And then I give my coffee to my friend. She touches and then, you know, touches her eyes. I can give her this sickness. Okay. So that is a coronavirus. But there are, you remember I said coronavirus is, meaning there's more than one. There are actually many coronaviruses. Okay, and so it's not new. Coronavirus is not new. This is something that it, it has similar symptoms, but there's different kinds of coronaviruses. Maybe you had coronavirus, a coronavirus last year. Maybe you had a fever and a cough <laughs> that was dry and you were sick for a couple of days and then you got better. Maybe you had a kind of coronavirus before, okay? In this way, a coronavirus is like a cold or a flu. Um, how many times have you had a cold before? I get like one or two colds every year. And I always say, oh, I have a cold. I don't feel good, you know, my, my nose is congested and my eyes are itching, okay? I have a cold, but is it the same cold every year that I get? No, it has similar symptoms, 
like a congested nose or a sore throat, but they're different colds every time. So you may wonder why do I have, say, is Hannah crazy? Why does she have ice creams on the coronavirus uh, paper? Well, like a cold or a flu, there are many different kinds of coronaviruses. Like there's many kinds of ice creams. You have the mint ice cream or coronavirus. You have the vanilla ice cream or vanilla coronavirus. Or you have the chocolate ice cream or chocolate coronavirus. <laughs> okay. So there are many different kinds of coronaviruses, just like there are many kinds of ice cream. So what is the coronavirus that everyone is talking about right now? Well, this coronavirus is a new flavor of coronavirus, okay? And this flavor of coronavirus is called COVID-19. It has similar symptoms to other coronaviruses from before, but this one is a little different, okay? This one, here's my new coronavirus. This one is a little different from the coronaviruses before. With this coronavirus called COVID-19, it is very easy to give to another person, okay? And, well, we'll talk a little more about this in a minute, okay? But for this coronavirus, COVID-19, the CDC, which means Center for Disease Control, it's a group in the, the country, United States, of scientists who study and learn about sicknesses and how to protect ourselves from sicknesses. The CDC says that for 80% of people, the risk or danger for COVID-19 is low, okay? N not, you can still get it, but you will probably be sick for a couple of days. You rest, you take your cold medicine or your flu medicine, and after a couple days, you will be okay for 80% of people. But for the other people, not this 80%, there's many people that the risk or danger of getting COVID-19 is higher. So for what people is the risk or danger higher? Well, People who are older, 65 years old or older than 65, this COVID-19 can be very dangerous for them. Also, people with respiratory problems. Do you remember respiratory? So people who have problems with their breathing, with their lungs, right? Inside here, okay? This can be very dangerous for them. Also, people with weak immune system. Your immune system in your body is what keeps, protects you from a sickness, or when you get a sickness, it fights the sickness so you can be healthy again. Well, some people have problems with their immune system. Maybe they get sick easily, okay? So for these people, COVID-19 is dangerous for them. They are part of this group, okay? So this is all about COVID-19, a certain flavor 
of coronavirus, that there are many coronaviruses. I hope this information helps you understand a little bit more. We will do more videos about this coronavirus, COVID-19, like what are the symptoms of COVID-19? How can I protect myself and my family from COVID-19? And if I feel sick, if I have a fever or a cough, should I go get testing for this? We will make more videos to share with you. If you have another question and you say, please, I want you to make a video about my question, please send a message to your teacher or to me and I will try to make a video for you. Love you guys, we miss you. We are separate right now, but we're still together. We're here for you, we are with you.